Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And we flew to Ireland with a group of about 16 patrons to discover more Irish whiskey than we'd ever been exposed to over here in the US. That's right, and because we were over there for a few weeks, we definitely had limited suitcase space, so this hunt video is a little different in that we couldn't come back with too many bottles, but we did come back with some. Now this hunting video is gonna be obviously different than our typical ones. We're also going to show you some bars and mm. some things that we drank at bars and also some distilleries and even a brewery. Mm. Uh, but while we were over there, we were mainly drinking Irish whiskey because why go to Ireland if, and not. You, yeah, if you're not gonna do that. But this is a bourbon channel primarily, or an American whiskey channel, so you guys know that we were trying to see what kind of bourbon and American whiskey they had over there as far as in the stores, but also behind the bar. Now in this video, when we call out prices, some of the time we say it in the Euro, other times we go ahead and convert it to the US dollar. Sometimes we'll do both. Also know that that US price is based on the conversion of the filming of this video. If you're watching this in the future and that's changed dramatically. We can't, that's, we're not time travelers. That's why. All right, well, there we go. Let's go ahead and start the hunt. Once we landed in Dublin, Ireland, it was off to the pubs. And one of our favorites was the Whiskey Reserve, which is right down the street from the famous Temple Bar. We started the trip off right with an old fashioned made with 100% Irish rye whiskey and an espresso martini made with Irish whiskey, and a flight of four including the 2024 Middleton Very Rare. Their bourbon selection was pretty nice. Wild Turkey 12 Year was a popular pour with our patrons. I spotted an old granddad that was in an OGD 114 bottle, but was the regular 80 proof version. I had to try it and I don't know if it was just my mind playing tricks on me or not, but it tasted older and better than what's on the shelves over in the US nowadays. The Whiskey Reserve is also a bottle shop and they had plenty of bottles to buy, but most were out of our price range, to say the least. Looks like they did have some single barrel picks too. Next, we visited Guinness, where it was our mission to learn how to do the perfect pour, which apparently is a five-step process. Sarah had her first pint of Guinness the day before at the Palace Bar. It was filmed for social, so forgive the black bars. The locals there told her you have to split the G on your first drink, meaning you have to drink it down to the Guinness logo. But as many have pointed out in the comments of that video, that's kind of rubbish. But back to the Guinness building, it is huge. I think there was seven floors to go through, and the top had a beautiful 360 degree view of Dublin. Getting back to whiskey, we visited the Jameson Distillery, or as they say over there, Jamison. So the name Jamison comes from John Jamison, who was our founding father. We did the complete tour and tasting, and then learned that you can bottle your own cast strength version of Jamison Black Barrel, which we couldn't resist, which counts as our first bottle purchase. Yeah, not a bourbon, an Irish whiskey, but we're counting it. Our first opportunity to stop at a liquor store, or off-license, which you'll hear me mistakenly call off-premise later on, was in a little town right outside of Dublin. It's closed. What a great way to start off this hunt. Well, I just figured out over here, uh, liquor stores, or off-premise as they call them, don't open until 10.30. 10.30. So now we're in a Tesco and I uh, found some spirits. This Tesco was kind of like a Kroger or equivalent store in the US, except some Tescos are quite smaller than this one and would be closer to a 7-Eleven. And here we go. Not only our first bourbon sighting in a store, not in a bar, but it's one we've never seen before. Old Samuel's Kentucky Style Blended Bourbon. 23 euro, or $24.92 for us, isn't awful, and we've got to admit, it's a beautiful bottle in its own way. But $25 for an 80 proofer that we know nothing about is a pass for us at our first stop. I'm sure we'll see it again later. But we never saw it again. Not a bad selection of Irish whiskey here, but let's see if we can, here we go. A few more bottles of bourbon cited. Just like in our Scotland trip last year, the Buffalo Trace over here is cut to 80 proof, supposedly to better meet the public's palate. What do you all think about that? Let us know down in the comments. We stopped at another convenience store on the top of this hill, but their selection was awful. Oh, wait, that's St. Patrick's Rock and Cashel. My bad. We traveled on to the town of Cork, where we popped into this bar that I can't remember the name of, but they had an okay selection of bourbon. There's even some craft distilleries like Westland and Few. 
Something in a unmarked decanter, that's interesting. Michter's, whistle pig, will it, etc. But I was determined to hear a cork pop in cork, so here we go. Well, that was a letdown. Then we ventured over to the Shelbourne Bar, where I don't recall seeing any bourbon, but I probably just missed a few bottles that they did have. But Sarah got this Powers John Lane 12-year single pot still, and I tried the Teeling pot still. So Chad, while we were over there, which Irish whiskeys did you find that you really gravitated towards? What'd you like? Well, I already kind of knew from experience that we liked the the Redbreast uh, series, mm -hmm. you know, Redbreast 12, the ca the cast ring, there you go. Um, and I'd had limited experience with the, I guess you would just call them the spots, right? Green spot, blue spot. Uh, I really liked, and I'm taking into account value here, I really liked the yellow spot. Okay. Uh, it's a 12 year, it's not cast strength, but um, for the price I was getting for the pours over mm. there, I really latched onto it and I was like, yellow spot, that's, I'm a yellow spot man. I tried the gold spot once and I really liked that, um, but yeah. it was not as it was not as value driven as that yellow spot, so I did not have a lot of that, but I did like it. 13 year. Uh, yes, and like you said, I um, really enjoyed Redbreast before we came over there, but once we were there, I found the Redbreast Lustau, mm. which we have here, but I had never tried. Right. And I found myself ordering that repeatedly at bars. Uh, yeah, I also, well, I had some of yours. And <laughs> Very good. I, I enjoyed it. And I, I just want to say that I also do like Gold Spot a lot. Okay. I, I had, uh, I think, also a sip of yours, mm. and I liked it, but I'm, you know, on that value, that yellow spot. Yeah, yeah the Redbreast. Um, I also had a Fricullin that was finished, mm. and it was like a mm -hmm. pink or purple label. I can't remember what it was finished in, but I assume why. Um, based on that color scheme, yeah. and it was delightful. So several things that we ended up liking a lot. Yeah, there you go. Well, hey, we want to take a little pause here and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt and hat that I'm wearing. Normally we got Glenn Carrots here. We don't even have them. Uh, but all of our glassware, including our Copitas rocks glasses and our mini Glens, um, still our hoodies, of course, because it's still cold uh, in other places besides here. Mm. Our Elemental Elixir cocktail syrup, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon. That that's at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And our trip was made up of entirely patrons uh, because they get first access to events like trips with us. They right. also get first access to our barrel picks uh, after the episode exclusive content mm -hmm. and more. Yeah, look at these names. Look at them just, all. Just some of them here that, uh, that spent uh, you don't have, well over a week with You us. don't have to be a patron to go on these trips, but they get first access to the tickets. And so it if it sells, sells out. out there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, all right. We're gonna take a little break. We'll be right back. Dinner that night was in the town of Killarney at a place called Hilliards, and here's their bourbon and international whiskey selection. Someone should tell them they can get their licenses revoked for listing Jack Daniel's single barrel as a bourbon. We're just kidding, don't add us. The next day, we got to explore Killarney some more and ran into a place called Casey's Off License, a small spot with plenty of Irish whiskey and only Maker's Mark and Wild Turkey 81 as far as bourbon goes. Then we discovered the Celtic Whiskey Bar and Larder, which didn't sell bottles, but had the best bourbon by pour selection of the entire trip. Their prices overall were really good too. They had a Pappy 23 year for 95 euros, which I know isn't nothing, but to get to try a full pour of that in the US for $103, in Kentucky anyway, that's not happening. Would you have done it? We got to try the 10 year Jefferson's Rye for 10 euro, we haven't seen this bottle since probably 2015. It's a 100% Canadian rye, but still I'd always been curious about it. Most of their BTAC was gone, but they did have several bottles of Thomas H. Handy and one bottle of Sazerac 18 year. It makes me wonder what they would have subbed out for the George C. Stag in this flight for 55 euro. We would later come back to this bar to do a cheese and Irish whiskey pairing, which was very nice. Not whiskey related, but we pulled over at the spot outside of Killarney for this view and for a dog on a donkey. Yes, you heard right, and it was one of the highlights of our trip. Now enjoy these dog on a donkey photos. Anyway, back to whiskey. At another convenience store, their bourbon selection consisted of Jim and Jack. Did you just call Jack bourbon? Almost $34 for Jim Beam White Label, or over $40 for Jack? We can see why American whiskey isn't more popular in Ireland. Here's another convenience store with a pretty good whiskey selection, but this time their bourbon is limited to Buffalo Trace, Jim Beam, and regular old Maker's Mark for over $51. And just because us on this side of the pond might get a kick out of this, 
Here's the Buffalo Trace marked with 40% ABV. Crazy, right? We made our way to Galway and found ourselves at Freeney's, a bar attached to a tackle shop that also sells bottles. Yep. It's a great bar with plenty to drink, and it has also ended up being the best, quote, liquor store that we came across. Because what's this? Marshall's Bourbon Whiskey. Never heard of it. More on that in a minute. They also had Bullet Bourbon and Rye. This older label, Wild Turkey 101, Woodford, Jefferson's, Jefferson's Ocean, and this old granddad that's in the 114 bottle but isn't 114 like we saw back at the Whiskey Exchange. The OGD was purchased by Tony, one of our travelers, for around 55 euro. And the Wild Turkey 101 by another couple of our travelers, Kathy and Michael, for around 47 euro. And the Marshalls is coming home with us, also for around 55 euro. After some research, we confirmed what we thought just from how the label looks. It's made by Heaven Hill. It's 80 proof with no age statement, so it's probably not going to set our world on fire, but it's a cool bottle that doesn't seem to be sold in the U.S., so we couldn't resist. Still in Galway, we finally find a store that looks more like the liquor stores we're used to. This one's called O'Brien's. I guess we'd been thinking all the liquor stores, or off-license, would have looked like this, but that's very much not the case in our experience, anyway. This store was mainly wine, but they did have a decent whiskey selection. Let's see if you can play Spot the Bourbon. Did you see it? Yeah, not much of it here either, but we did find our first Eagle Rare. 53 euro or $57.42 isn't awful. How many of you would pay $58 for Eagle Rare? Let us know down below. Well, sadly, it's time for our Ireland trip to come to a close and we have to say farewell to our patrons and guests because our trip is continuing on to London, where we will do another hunting video coming soon. That's right. Uh, but we have one more stop to make before we head off to London. One more stop, and it's a big stop because it's the duty-free store at the Dublin mm. airport. I'm seeing vodka, gin, rum, tequila, Irish cream, of course, Irish whiskey, scotch. No bourbon, no bourbon here. Uh, I found it, it's under World Whiskey. Mm, I mean, true, it is, but not a great selection. For $65, you can get an exclusive duty-free only liter of Basil Hayden's. Uh, okay. You can get a liter of regular Makers or the 101 proof, which used to be exclusively available in duty-free. Or you can get a 100 proof small batch of Angel's Envy for 114 US dollars. None of these really tickled our fancies, but this Redbreast Irish Whiskey exclusive did. These bottles are only available in the Dublin and Cork airports. We're big Redbreast fans anyway, and this whiskey is a marriage of ex-bourbon barrels, Spanish Oloroso sherry butts, Portuguese tawny port hogsheads, and European virgin oak casks. Yeah, coming home with us. Okay, here are the uh, this is the, haul. the spoils of the hunt. Uh, yeah, small. It's not like a normal but mighty. hunt over <laughs> here where yeah, it can be it can be lots of bottles. I like a smaller. You like yeah, a smaller um, hunt and haul. It's, and it's diverse. Yeah, right? uh, only one bourbon, but it's a bourbon that we can't find over here in, no. in the Marshalls. Uh, and we two did, Irish whiskeys. Yeah, you got to bottle your own here with the Jameson, um, which they only do at the distillery. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then I think I'm actually most excited though about this Redbreast uh, because it's a limited edition mm -hmm. that we came across. That's right. Yeah, limited. And then I think the first time that they've gone past three barrels to so that four barrels. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is one I guess we'll have to open on, on live or maybe we'll do a little, uh, you know, Patreon uh, after the episode thing Ooh. where we taste uh, one of these, but uh, don't worry. Eventually, all three will be uh, will be tasted and, and shown to you guys. Um, but yeah, as we said, that England, that London, England hunt video is coming up along with the visit to Buffalo Trace, England, the, in London, in yeah. London, the brand uh, new shop. The first week that it opened. And boy, did we, we get a special reward for attending yeah. that very first opening yeah, week. We but did. you'll just have to watch and wait and see. Wait for that, yeah. Well, that's where we better leave it for now. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Until next time, drink more bourbon. And Irish whiskey. Salancha. So